evening. Welcome to Meta News, Horizon World's premier news source, and you're with the Blanco Business segment. And um, tonight, um, we're going to scale back a little bit um, into something that I think that Horizon World members could use. Uh, I was talking to another Horizon member earlier uh, yesterday, and we got on to the topic of, you know, people who are looking for places to live. You know, things are changing. It's getting hard to find a safe place to stay because safe places are typically, you know, synonymous with affordable nowadays. Um, and with this, with the rental situation and, and how, um, you know, people have kids and may not want to put their children in certain environments. I thought it was time to start talking about another aspect of real estate that some people may not be aware of. And that term that I think people aren't aware of is called FISBO. Now, that sounds funny, right? But if you've been in the real estate market, you know that that stands for for sale by owner. That's right, F-S-B-O, for sale by owner, FISBO. So that's a short short nickname we call it in the real estate industry. Uh, I used to do real estate, uh, but not as a realtor. I did it as a, a mortgage agent work for brokers, help people get into homes, specialized in subprime lending. That's for people who don't have excellent credit or great credit. So that's what for sale by owners uh, come in at if you are one of those people who are looking to really relocate, get into a better place, um, but you may not be able to afford a down payment. You may, may not be able to afford closing costs um, you may not be able to afford all these things that, uh, you know, that a person who's, you know, been working for three years and have saved a considerable amount of money and have all their, you know, ducks lined up in a row, ready to go purchase this home type deal. Right. So what do we have? We have different markets for different uh, segments of the market. Right. So let's take um, let's take a guy. Let's call him Jay. Jay, he's a, um, you know, a, a fix and flipper, right? He goes out, he's a small investor. He goes, he goes out and looks for homes that are ugly homes that nobody wants. And it's just sitting there and they say he can go get it at a, he can go get it from the owner or the bank, whoever owns it. He can get it at a great discount because it's just sitting there and it's not, it's not doing anything. And so they'll sell it to him at a reasonable price that he knows he can make a profit off of. So what he'll do is he'll get that house and he'll fix it for the purpose of flipping it. So a fix and flip is getting the property just to rehab it to sometimes it's the minimum. Sometimes it's, you know, more than the minimum to get that house ready to be uh, uh, used, utilized again. So since he's purchasing the house, right, he's going to own the house. He's going to fix it and flip it. He can rent the house out or he can sell the house. Now, because of the economy and how everything is going right now, we, we, we pretty much know that, you know, buying homes isn't that, um, you know, it's not that prevalent right now. It's only for, you know, big time, uh, you know, big, big timers who, who are buying. In. And the lower end homes, as you can tell, are either going on Section 8 or they're turning them into B&Bs, Airbnbs if they can. But for those who hasn't you know who haven't went that far yet they're deciding that they want to rent their house or sell it so let's take the let's take the fact that it's easier to rent a home because even though there's a lot of people who can't qualify for down payments and things like that they can afford to start paying rent now and they can um you know give you an immediate relief as an owner of a property so let's say we just um decide to up the ante on this one right and let's just say even though jay would prefer to prefer to sell his home he can enter into a contract with the person who's renting and they can enter into a contract uh called a lease option it's a lease option to buy or a lease with an option to purchase the home and in general how that looks is um the home buyer who is sometimes a first time home buyer or a person who could be a foreign person who hasn't really got established yet in the United States, or, you know, it could be a person who just don't have that much income, but couldn't afford to pay rent. So let's say they enter into an agreement 
with a lease option. So we're going to lease, which is rent, but we're going to have an option on it for me to buy it, right? And that, that purchase option could be for three years down the road. It could be two years down the road. It can be five years down the road, whatever that contract is established. Because what it's going to allow you to do as a as a buyer, it's going to allow you to make those payments to this seller. And this seller could be reporting these payments or have an agency report your payments for the next 12 months to two years, right? Because what you want to do, you want to create a, a a history, right? And that's all you need is to have a history of you showing you paid a mortgage or rent. Well, in this case, it would be considered a mortgage if it's on a purchase because you have a contract that you will purchase at a certain time. But you want to get performance and you want to have a record uh, to show a history. Because sometimes a history showing that you paid a, you know, you paid a mortgage goes a lot further than just sometimes your income. And you have other things like uh, you, you have what they call a debt ratio. If you was trying to buy a house, you would definitely have to meet the criteria with the bank is to have a decent debt ratio. And um, that'll help you during that time to, you know, get your debts down and all of those things. So when it's time to purchase the home, let's say three or four years later, you're going to get credited for all the rent you pay. And if it's once the time comes, you can qualify to go ahead and purchase that home. You can now qualify to purchase the home from the seller because the seller gave you the ability to get in and create, you know, the history that you needed by being lenient enough to allow you to, you know, live in his property and lease it out with the option to purchase at a certain time. And so even though I'm telling you these things, these are just options I hear and you can look further into them because there's a lot of information out there for sellers and it's a lot of information out there for buyers to give you uh, specific advice on how to go about these things. Because it's almost like you're not, you know, it's like if you were doing it through the tr traditional way you went through a bank, of course, they're going to want to do an inspection. They're going to want to have an appraisal. And, and you know, they're going to have attorneys that's going to, um, you know, do title searches. They got to make sure that there's no liens on the place because who buy a property if they haven't checked it for liens? No one. So all of these things you will learn and find out that what they do in the first place. And you'll be doing it for yourself. And when you do it for yourself, you get rid of all of those fees. Because sometimes fees can be 20% of what the property is valued. So if you got a $100,000 home, that's 20000 for the down payment. You know what I'm saying? Then the closing cost is normally 10% of that, you know, another 10000 Because the closing cost includes all the fees that the realtor wants, the the fees that the broker wants for the mortgage on the mortgage side who's helping you get the financing. And all the different agents that's doing the appraisals and doing the inspections and the attorneys that's going over the documents and doing a title search, all of that adds up, you know what I'm saying? So that's why typically, you know, for, you know, when people, they're, they're, they're happy about successfully purchasing a home because they had a few years to prepare for it and they had someone to prepare them for it as well. And for those way, and we call that a lease. A, a lease with the option to buy or a lease purchase option. So that's the little tidbit for today. And uh, for those who are interested, give me one second. Uh, I think my computer screen just closed on me. One second, I'm going to open up the screen and I'm going to tell you um, there are different um, locations where you can find this type of information or find people that are um, these markets, right? So one of these one of these areas you can go online to find uh, for sale by owners. And once again, it's FSBO. You'll see that as an acronym. You got Zillow.com, Z-I-L-L-O-W.com. And then you got another website for sale by owner.com. Then you actually have S, I mean, FSBO, FISBO.com. You can either you can you can also find these type sellers on Craigslist. They'll you know they'll list uh, FSBO as well. And then you have a website called Owners.com. And um, and for those who's on Facebook, you do have you have uh, the marketplace and you have different specific groups that discuss these things and they're on their selling selling trying to sell their properties with lease options to buy. So. Um, 
but but like I said, for those who are looking for somewhere to stay, they're looking to relocate, you're looking for somewhere safe, especially if you have kids, you don't want to just move into a place that's affordable. Um, you may can you might be able to do a lease option purchase for a home, and that would be actually a home on a, a plot of land, you know, not with people above you and under you, and you know, one way in, one way out type type facility. So. And that's an option, and it's a better option because those sellers out there are looking for people who will, who do have the income and can prove the income that they can pay, and they'll work with you. Okay, well, you have been watching, you know, um, Meta News. Once again, this is the biz, business segment. I am El Blanco. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and you can watch uh, all of our shows on our YouTube channel. Um, so, and when you get a chance to, always go to Meta News for Horizon Worlds. VR, and that's Horizon Worlds with an S. Make sure you go there and check out all our segments. Uh, we're bringing Horizon uh, very quality information, and we're giving you entertaining news as well. So thank you for tuning in. Good night.